All right, good morning, everybody. Wipe the sleepies from your eyes. Welcome to Lesson 47. Today we are talking about simplifying mixed measures. So what a mixed measure is, is two different measurements of two different units, like three feet, seven inches. And they're going to ask you to get everything converted into one. So what you want to do is determine how many of the smaller units make up one of the larger units. Multiply the number of units times the number of smaller units that make up the larger one. Like how many inches are in 3 feet 7 inches? You're first going to have to go and decide that they want the answer all in inches, right? So I have 3 feet multiply the number of units, which would be 3, times the number of smaller units. How, how many inches are in a foot? Well, you should know there's 12 inches in a foot, right? Well, what is 3 times 12? That's going to give you 36. And then it says, Add the smaller units to your product. Our product was 36, right? The answer when we multiplied. So 36 plus 7 more inches is going to give you a total of 43 inches, right? 36 plus 7 is going to be 43. And that's basically our whole lesson right now. The toughest part is making sure you know how many of the smaller units go into the larger one. Are you ready? Linda is 4 feet 9 inches tall. How many inches tall is she? So I got 4 of the feet. So I want to go 4 times and they want the answer in inches. So how many inches are in one foot? 12. 4 times 12 is going to give me 48 inches, right? Step number 2, add on the extra inches. 48 plus 9 more. 48 plus 9, that's going to be a total of 57 inches. Not too tough so far. Carlos ran a mile in 2 minutes 15 seconds, and they want the answer all in seconds. How many seconds did it take Carlos to run 1 mile? So I have 2 of the larger units, and I have minutes. So how many seconds are in a minute? Hopefully you know that. There's 60 seconds in a minute, right? 2 times 60, hey, that's got to be 120. 120 is my product. Go and add on the additional smaller units. 120 plus 15 more, that's going to give us 135. Not too tough, but please don't hit fast forward. It took Nick 2 hours 17 minutes to finish the quest in Skyrim. How many minutes did it take him to finish? So I have two of the larger units. I want everything in minutes. So how many minutes is in an hour? That also is 60, right? So 2 times 60 would be 120. Go and add on your additional smaller units. 120 plus 17 more. Hey, that's going to give us 137 minutes. And when you take the Socrative quiz, all you're going to have to do is type in the number. You are not going to have to label. The watermelon weighed 4 pounds 7 ounces. And they want to know how many ounces did the watermelon weigh. 
Do you remember? If you could look up pounds in the back of your book, and it will tell you that there are 16 ounces in one pound. Four is the number of units, so I want to go four times 16. That's got to be 64. Add on the additional extra units, which is seven small ones, 64 plus seven more. And so that's going to give us 71 ounces. Almost done. This won't take too long. John was six feet, four inches tall. How many total inches tall was he? Again, you should know that there are 12 inches in a foot. They want the answer in inches, right? So I multiply the first two together. Six times 12, hey, that's going to give me 72, right? 72 plus the extra four little ones, 72 plus four, that's going to have to give us 76, right? Still not too tough. We're almost done. Wanted to talk about this because there are still some people out there when they are asking for an answer with a mixed number. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. So if they are asking you to divide 8 divided by 3, well, that's going in there two whole times. Multiplying back for 6, subtracting for 2. But if they want it written as a mixed number, you don't say 2 remainder 2. You use the remainder as your numerator and you use your divisor as your denominator, right? So we're going to end up with two and two thirds. Anytime they're asking in a story problem, if you're dividing up something, you don't write it with the remainder, write it as a mixed number, right? And that, folks, I believe is the end. The trickiest part about this is making sure you know how many smaller units make up a larger unit. You're going to want scratch paper and your books for the Socrative quiz. And good luck.